Good morning. It is Sunday, the 29th, the 29th of January 2017, Sunday morning. I've been up since 6.30 a.m. and it's now five past nine. And I was just reading this morning this article that was sent to me for my mum in Dunedin and it is in the paper so I'm allowed to put it here and so I was just reading this this morning that I went to this guy's funeral John Sutherland from Dunedin I went to his funeral in Dunedin and I was thinking oh I wondered if I've got a game okay I wonder if I've got a game of his that I played now just two minutes ago I got my old score sheet books from Otago Chess Club and guess what I bloomin' opened it up right at the game with John Sutherland this Otago Chess Club book now have a look at this so look at this this is John Sutherland and we played each other 1988 I did actually win I didn't actually know I played him but I actually won and he's a strong chess player but anyway I played this in 1988 in June 88 and John lost on time now I was actually wondering if I've got a game you know I didn't actually know that this was going to happen I just opened it up I kid you not I absolutely kid you not I opened it up and that my first score book I took out of score sheet book I took out of uh, my collection of score sheets uh, of of um, score sheet box from the Otago Chess Club, which incidentally this is what it looks like, and this is how old it is. It's my old address in Dunedin, and it was one dollar back then. I think they're still that price and it was when I was living in Rickerton so it's about 25 years old this so this is my score sheet um, tournament games record from back then from the Otago Chess Club initially so I'm going to in tribute in honour of John Sutherland I'm going to play this game even though I did win it sadly for John I won it but um, I'm going to honour him a great chess he was the Richie McCaw of Otago Chess he won the um, the Otago champs about nine times out of nine that sort of thing so he's no mug and he died a couple months ago sort of thing okay and a top engineer and everything like that and an inspiration to me actually as well um, so anyway and and he is seated there oh I won't say because it's a friend of mine that he's playing against anyway I'm going to play that game here now that we played uh, at the Swiss Tournament Canterbury Chess Club 1988 round four <clears throat> and I'll flip the board because I was white and I'd like to play my position c5 knight e2 you see 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 it's not at white can still play um, d4 unless black plays e5 now Uh, the time control was 36 I think 36 moves in an hour and a half one and a half hours so this is played at the Canterbury Chess Club in Christchurch the city that rocks on the 22nd of June to uh, 1988 so it's a long time ago it's um, one year before I won the the New Zealand Lightning Champs and one thing I want to say is that um, I was watching with um, 
I, I watched about the fourth program or so of um, The Apprentice with Heather yesterday and it was on in the afternoon for some reason they have stopped doing it at night but anyway I was watching that and the guy that got taken um, off yesterday was terminated by Arnie or um, you've got to call him by um, the correct the correct name because at the end of the day he's he's I th um, I'm not sure what the statesman or so uh, or councillor or all that sort of thing or uh, he's the um, uh, there's that word gone again but anyway um, what I'm saying is that the guy that got terminated in the program that I watched with Heather of all the other ones I haven't watched he got terminated and I said to Heather um, before he got terminated it'll be him because um, one you don't go to a businessman you've got to be serious you can't always be like I like to be fun and have fun and everything like that but sometimes you have to be not fun like going to church I'm going to church soon and I'm not going to um, sit there and let everyone know I'm there but I might afterwards but not during the service and all that sort of thing because and so this guy he went up to the um, the sweets guy and he said oh we're going to, I'm going to um, I'll give you some money to make us win and all this sort of stuff you just sometimes you just there's not a there's no place for joking and even funerals uh, I don't go into a funeral and crack a joke um, jokes are alright but it ju you just got to be you've just David I'm talking to here uh, is it's a wee lesson for me that you need to sort of be um, aware um, of other people about and that you can't always be cracking jokes or whatever or trying to crack jokes not necessarily making jokes or whatever and I just found out that um, <clears throat> that um, it's Yoda that goes Ah Luke you must go over to the dark side and I thought it was someone else but I found out it's actually Yoda so that's pretty cool but, um, anyway this is this game so what I'm saying with this program I just watched last night with Heather Wiegener what I watched was um, that there were two things that the um, that the teams had to um, meet their objective or their subjective plans were to make lots of money more than the other side more than the other side look and um, to make more money and to also try and impress the owner of the sweets com company in America um, to um, to uh, like it like their chocolate over the other chocolate and so and the other team they did the research and they they sort of looked like what this person actually liked what this person who was the owner liked and some said well I don't like that one I like this better I like dark I like light chocolate better than dark chocolate and they didn't do their research and all that sort of thing so they didn't do their homework which is important and they didn't and it's kind of like chess too you see it's like chess and I'm going to start doing the game straight off this after this but it's like chess it's like play your own moves don't play if you want to emulate me fine go for it if you want to emulate Kasparov definitely go for it because Kasparov is one that you can aspire to emulate but at the end of the day I've just read it in a book about coaching I've got a book here of coaching people, a, a pocket mentor from the Harvard Business School Press. 
expert solutions to everyday challenges. And it says in there, you've got to be planned, you've got to um, meet what expectations you can say for me to say to you, shoot for the sky, go for the go for the jugular, go for the limit, go for, but it might not, um, might not come about, you see. A good coach will realize the capabilities and the incapa and, and the opposite of whatever capabilities is the incapabilities or whatever I don't know anyway so it's like that you know like with um, this I, I like to talk a bit and all that sort of thing and it's um, it's because I'm I'm giving off my knowledge and my understanding and that I'm expressing that as well even though I digress obviously so now I'm going to just go forward with the game now John Sutherland plays g6 knight bc3 now John is um, what I was imp I was really impressed with not only his match game play but He's a very, he was a very, very, very good lightning player. Very strong. So I must have played well to beat him. Or maybe I was just lucky because it says I won on time. Now this is quite, um, it's all right as a system against, um, Black's um, Sicilian setup playing the Fiend Shadow, which is a dragon style thing. I've left it so far closed and I leave it closed too. Oh, no, it didn't play that. I played Castles. Castles, D3, just simple chess, no, no exuberance, just letting the pieces do the talking like one of my friends says. Let the pieces do the talking, not you. Don't you talk, David, just let the pieces do that. So that's what I'm going to do right from now, okay? But this is an honour of John Sutherland, even though he did lose. I think it goes to a gift too. I'm not exactly sure. It looks like it did. And I'd use 20 minutes.
See, this is the sort of move I like to play as black, as white I mean, because um, I'm now pushing the knight back and I'm probably looking at this, um, I'm not sure if I was looking at this yet, this bishop here, um, I'm not sure what I'll do next move, I'll just see. I thought I did this. He went knight e8. Um, and I wrote knight d7. I now approach the 7th rank with my rock. This is where I want to pee. Pawn. Now John exceeded the time limit. Uh, I wrote after the game 34 B3 best try but CB3. So I wrote 34 B3 best try. If I go pawn up here, what is met with knight takes pawn, you see? If here, then here, and I lose my rook for this pawn. So best here is b3. Well, it might not be the best move in the whole wide world, but this is what I or we wrote down. b3, cb3, I just go cb3. And then, if this knight moves away somewhere, wherever it moves, see, this is what I can play chess like, you see. I can play chess um, just nice and clinically. And um, I've got ideas for white to go knight here and here. If the knight moves away, then I can go knight here and here. Okay. So that's the session for today. I ended up with with using 71 minutes for some reason. So I went from 20 minutes to, I can't have been 20 minutes to 64 minutes. Three moves later it was 64 minutes. So I'll just say that at move 25 I was at 64 minutes and John was at 80 nine minutes no it can't be 89 I can't read it okay but anyway that's the end of this session so this is kind of one of those things that truly happened that um, I went to get my score sheets for, from the old my score box from the Otago Chess Club and I'll look for another really important game of mine. I went to do that and I thought, oh, I'll have a look at these before I start the, the tape rolling, you see. Action! And anyway, I did, did that and then, I just before that, 
um, saw the clipping that my mum had sent the article from Dunedin, um, the paper there, she'd sent the article for um, for the obituary and here was um, this game as soon as I open up my score sheet and that's the absolute truth um, as soon as I open up this the first score book that was in front of all the other ones the, as soon as I opened it up and looked at one that was it and it's not like I played John Sutherland very often I only played him a, a couple of times in match games I played in lightning but not match games and anyway now I'm just looking again and I just found a game where I have got my game it was the Labour Weekend Dunedin Round 3 tournament I've just found the game and that's going to be tomorrow's game it's the game I've already spoken to you about um, it's about my memorable moment in chess um, and I've just found that score sheet game and so that's remarkable, it's wonderful. It's a really cool game and my opponent, I played Queen C5 five to C4, my position was really great and I'm going to finish it right now, my position was really great, um, I went Queen C5 to C4 is black and then my opponent at the gym was winning all of a sudden and just before he walked into the adjournment to con consume me in the game I saw Queen C4 back to C5 again and he started to sweat quite a lot and he's alright with me um, showing it because I've spoken to him uh, about it um, he now lives somewhere else, this guy, and he he couldn't find, he didn't have the score sheet anymore, but I've just found it anyway. So that will be tomorrow's game. Bye-bye.